what can it, what can it, let's see, it's just, let me see where we are in this. You can, you can basically do like the union do. You can have like an apprenticeship program, like a on-the-job training. While you're training them, you pay them in the work. And, and, and you can, and what that will do is when one person gets to a certain level, you can turn right back around and pull the next man up by training him also. And at the same token, he'll better himself. You know about the pre-apprenticeship programs? Yes, uh, when I was, when my record wasn't like it was, I was in the electrical year, IBW. Well, you know, they're trying to start something now where they can, uh, they call it a pre-apprentice program, and they, you don't have to, they don't, they don't, they, on principle, do not do a criminal record check or a drug test before you begin. So you can start into the program without having to go through all those hooks. Who is, who is this? Um, well, actually, it's out at the IBEW Hall. It's a guy named uh, Jerome so Jackson. Like yeah, it's at the Union Hall. And I, I think, you know, they're not, they don't have, they don't have enough to be nice if the president was, would provide support for that. But, you know, they need to have, um, they need to have work that is coming in that they're getting paid to do so that they can then hire people in the pre-apprentice program. Once they're in, mm -hmm. then they'll do the check to keep you straight. Yes, ma'am. Um, but I'm not supposed to be preaching. I'm supposed to be no, asking. I'm glad you spoke on that. I'm glad you spoke on that. I didn't know anything about it. Well, why don't you talk a little bit about being discriminated against because you got a record? Well, I, I, it's just a lot, a lot of employees just will not have an uh, extra thing. I mean, they have programs like the bonding program, and it sounds good on paper, but in actuality, you, you, see a, you don't see a whole lot of ex-cons working, especially in this area. You, know, you don't see it. And, and, and then if, if, if they are, if, if they do have programs, they don't let people know about them. Mm -hmm. They're not advertised. And then it's not really no work that I know of. Let me ask you two guys something since okay, we are the community jobs forum right here on, at the, of the open door in Atlanta. I hope they've had some more in Atlanta, but at least we're doing one. And you're an undocumented worker. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You got a criminal yeah. record. Yeah. You're both good workers. Yeah. 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 How do you feel about each other? Do you feel like you, uh, it's each other's fault that you don't have a job? No. <laughs> talk talk about that a little bit. I, 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 how could I say that it's his fault? He's not hired. <laughs> say that again. How could I blame it on him? He's not hired. <laughs> There's no way that I could have any grudge against him because he has not, because he's doing the same thing I'm doing. He's looking for a job. And you know, what about you? A job, but I, like I say, I ain't got no, no legal papers to go and look for, for a company jobs or, or restaurants or stores. So do you think and it's the uh, fault of so these these American guys opinion, who got uh, records? There's a place where they can hide in me without uh, legal papers, then I, I will be working. But only if, if they can hire you without, yes, we without tell, uh, doing a check? Yes. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you say you have a job form program, right? So what y'all gonna do? Y'all gonna y'all gonna have jobs? Are y'all gonna have jobs? No, I'm. T you know what? This is a forum, not a farm. A forum. This is a this is a talking time because mm -hmm. and the reason that I'm doing this yes, is that I complained to the White House that they weren't doing anything to and create we, jobs to hire guys like you who had records and couldn't find jobs. Okay, I mean, I, I look at I look at your. Mayor of Atlanta, you know, he turned around and he hires 700 more police officers. When those, that's, those could be 700 jobs of people on the street that could possibly get them off of the street. Not saying police officers, but take that money and, 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 and put it towards companies and, and small businesses where you can get people, the lower class, to work with. And that way you got people spending money and that's going to create jobs anyway. Because circulation of money. But if you have no money circulating, then nobody's going to work. Except the person that's already had. Except the people that already have. Right. 
That's a good point. Go on. Can you can you talk more about that? Well, I mean, I mean you look you look here. You, this is the second richest. We read by Howard. That's the second richest neighborhood in Atlanta, Georgia. Howard, Buckhead is the word. And yeah, all this money and all these houses are built, but you see no one around here working. And you see a lot of people sleeping on the street. You see a lot of people sleep, sleeping on the street, and at the end of the day, the people that are working, you see them getting in their cars going to the outskirts of the city. Around. I mean, couldn't you, when you having all this building around here, couldn't you get a contractor's incentive to hire people in this location? Where, where they have, like, they just had a minority program. Where you had to give minorities a certain amount of jobs, a certain amount of contracts. Why can't you give it? Why can't you make an incentive where you have contractors come build houses and build condos and law apartments? Why couldn't they have an incentive to hire people in this area? That they have to hire a certain amount of people in this area. Because it's really not bad that you you open up, you open up, you 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 start building, but you don't have no one in this area. You mean the money come? The money is leaving and going out on the outskirts. Of the city or not. And if, if you gave them incentives to hire people in this area, I think that would alleviate a lot of the homelessness in this area because you give a person a chance to make money. And there's a lot of homelessness in this area. And we right. don't, when we say homeless, we don't just mean homeless, we mean jobless. Jobless. <laughs> well, that usually comes with homeless. <laughs> Most <laughs> people that's got a job, usually, especially in this type of weather, they're going to get shelter. But if you have no income, then guess what? Why don't you talk a little? It's been cold here. Why don't you talk a little bit about what it's been like? You gotta go. Okay. Yeah. okay. Yeah, because I ain't got not much to say, you know. But... I want to ask you about where you used to live. Uh, oh, and, would you uh, be, would would you be looking for a job here if you'd been able to find a good job where you came from? Oh yes, I'm from Mexico. Where did you live? Uh, I live in, uh, well, now I am staying at Peachtree and Pine. Yeah, but I mean, oh, you're living in Peachtree and Pine, Pine now? Yeah, homeless, too. But in, because of the jobs, they went low. There is no, no, no jobs for everybody at the Ketchup Corner. So, so in so, Mexico, uh, were there good oh, jobs in Mexico, there? Uh, in Mexico, uh, I got my own business. Yeah? Yeah. Only these two years that I've been here in Atlanta, it's been, they've been terrible for me. So yeah. you wish you had? Before I was living good. Uh -huh. Yeah, since I got here, it was like a, a bad luck or something. No, it's not bad but, luck. It's I the whole can, economy. I cannot find a, 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 a steady job. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm eating here, sleeping on the streets too. When it's hot, when it's summer, but now I stay in, uh, at, a, at a church. You sleeping at the church? Yeah. They are lowing people now staying at the church because uh, uh, the, this, this week. How many people are sleeping there? Uh, 20, 12. 12, 12 people, people sleeping yeah. where you are? Yes. At that church? At the church. Where are you sleeping? At the show. Jewel Hill show. At which one? Jewel Hill show. At, oh, well, out there? Yeah, Jewel Hill show. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. yeah. How many people there? 28. 28. Are you seeing people sleeping outside? Yes, ma'am. You want to describe it? I've, I've been to that. Talk and about it. it. It's, 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 it's real bad when you have to get, you have to go in at a certain time because it gets cold at night. It gets super cold. And then you always have a fear of the police tapping you on the shoulder and taking you to jail. And the only thing you try to do is go to sleep. Have you had that experience? Oh, yeah. Talk about it. Long time ago. Huh? Well, uh, we used to stay uh, at the Home Depot. Yeah? On, on you could sleep the there? Yeah. Well, on top of the steps. How do you call that? Uh, hallway. Home Depot. Depot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we stay like, there like five, six uh, Spanish people. Yeah. Because there is nowhere to go sometimes. And... Uh, <clears throat> Police, they, they don't bother us over there. They don't the bother you no. in the summertime? All, yeah, in the summertime. Unless we uh, started drinking or doing something else, illegal. <laughs> yeah, then they come and, you know, okay. tell us to leave. 
Other than that, everything is, is fine. Yeah. But in summer, t on, on winter time, it's, it's hard to sleep on the, on, on the streets because of the, the, the cold weather. No? Yeah. So what do you do when it's cold? When it's cold, I go to a shelter. Uh, to Peace Tree and Pine or, or uh, Junior, Junior Mission. Union Mission. Yes, like uh, this week, uh, Pastor Chet, they gave us a chance to uh, sleep at the, at the church. Yes, this week, when it's, it's really cold. Yeah. Okay.